So, you've all heard of a pub crawl. You know, you go to a pub, you have a pint of beer with your friends, and then you move on to the next pub, you have another pint of beer, then you move on to another one, you have another pint of beer. By the end of the night, you're happy, you've had some variation, you've gone to various pubs, you've had a great time in all of them. But today, rather than proving I am British and can chug a pint of beer, which I really can't, I have literally no alcohol ability to show for, I am a total lightweight. <laughs> I need to get my university finals done. Over the last two weeks, I have had to write six essays Six essays. Oof. I have one more essay left. I know I'm gonna get it done, but do you know how? I'm gonna go on a study crawl. Guys, I don't know if you've ever studied in a cafe, but it is an out of body experience. Think about it. You've got the lovely ambiance of people talking in hushed voices. And especially for me, I'm in Berlin right now. So a lot of it will be in other languages, it'll be in German. It's just beautiful background noise because my German's not there yet. You've got the whir of the coffee machine, the clink of coffee, the laughing voices, people tapping away on laptops. It's just a great ambiance, very motivating. And you can't get tired, you can't procrastinate because the whole energy is accountability for you to just go there, enjoy and get things done. So today I'm going to study as many of my tried and tested favourite cafes in Berlin. And if you hadn't already guessed, this is basically just an excuse to show you my favourite study places. So let's go. This is so cool, it's a neighbourhood book exchange. So if you've got a book, you can put one in there and then take one away. And everyone in the neighbourhood can do it. That's so cool. This is so sad. This is one of my favorite cafes. It's fully vegan. They have wonderful food and wonderful smoothies, hot chocolates, lovely cozy drinks. I got the pink smoothie, which is dates, frozen berries, banana, orange, and it's gorgeous. It's fresh. You can tell this is actual fruit in here. A little bit more expensive, but it's fine. Like you're paying for the ethics of the place, the coziness. But I did not do my research and I didn't realize they're laptop free on weekends. So I can't actually start my essay, which is fine. Cause this is like a breakfast cafe and I'm just reading some of the alchemist. But normally in the week they have good Wi-Fi, So it's a five out of five for Wi-Fi. They have multiple plugs and outlets. So it's a five out of five for accessibility of charging your laptop. As I say, food is wonderful. It's a five out of five for food. Price is like a two or three out of five because it's a bit expensive. And then finally, the location. This is in my area. I love it. It's in, it's kind of like the border of Kreuzberg and Neukölln, which are two vibey hipster cool areas in southern Berlin. I'm just going to finish reading this and then head off. Guys, listen to this line. How do I guess the future based on the omens of the present? The secret here is in the present. If you pay attention to the present, you can improve upon it. And if you improve upon the present, what comes later will also be better. Each day in itself brings with it an eternity, so long as we focus on the now. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is the most sold book in the world. It's translated to 80 different languages. I've always heard about The Alchemist, so I've never picked it up. But now I'm finally reading it and it's so interesting. I'm halfway through and I'm ready to give a review. I'll probably finish it by the end of today.
you guys, so I hope you can hear me, but this place is absolutely my go-to study cafe. It's very near where I live and the vibes are just immaculate. They're very laptop friendly, it's very spacious, so you can sort of tuck yourself away in the corner. They have plug sockets, they have amazing Wi-Fi, they have great coffee, great drinks. Very pricey in my opinion, but the location is amazing. They have this park and river. The river should be, it's just, it's just right there, right outside. Crazy. If you're in Berlin, please come here. It even has a message on the mirror saying, be kind, and we're all about a bit of kindness here. So, quick rating. Wi-Fi, it's a five out of five. Availability of plug sockets, five out of five. Motivational study vibes, music, etc. Five out of five. Cost? I mean, you can stay here for a while and do your thing and enjoy all this wonderful stuff. So maybe the course is justified, but I'd say a three out of five. And then the location right by the river, four out of five. It's a good one. I just worked for an hour and a half. I did a whole outline of my essay. I need to do a bit more research and then later can get to writing. Okay guys, another reason to love this cafe. Look who's here! We're just the yeah. same person. I can't believe it. Like the amount of coincidences in our life. She's just here. We've been both here for the last two hours or so. We didn't notice. Just, just didn't even notice. This I know. happened so many times already. Yesterday, just completely out of the blue, it was what, 15 minutes past midnight or something. And I just sent the phone a text. And the second I clicked send, she had sent me a message in that exact second. It was a random time of the night. Our lives. Coincidence. <laughs> Have a good day! Have a good day! <laughs> Hey guys, so I didn't film any of me working because it was so busy and there was of people around, but I finished my essay. I did an hour and a half here and now they're closing up so I'm gonna leave, but I absolutely love this cafe. I'm in the underground part right now and the lighting, the crazy energy, the amazing Wi-Fi, the plugs, great location in the center of Berlin. It's just what a truly lovely cafe. There's a bunch of other places I wanted to go to, but I can't because they're pretty much all closed now. I'm gonna leave it all in the description and give you a preview of some of them now. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mundane. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. And now, there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer. Hey guys, so you can probably hear the delicious whirring of my washing machine in the background. You're just gonna have to ignore it. It's just part of the ambiance of my student life. Guys, I've officially finished finals. Hey. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long semester, but a good one as they always are. Like, you have the highs, you have the lows, you have the academic wins, you have the academic struggles. It's just life at uni. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite cafes in Berlin. Generally, the cafe scene in Berlin is really not that great for laptop studying. Or if you have a big project and you wanna sit somewhere reliably for a few hours, Berlin is not really your city. Seoul's cafe scene was just 
incredible, like the best, best Wi-Fi, best everything, best atmosphere, best cafes on every single street. It was just so easy to go study. But Berlin, I feel like cafes are more for people to go and have a lovely chat with a friend. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not ideal when you're a student wanting to study there. But yeah, that's why I wanted to make this video and I hope it's helpful for anyone looking for cute places to study. This semester my life has also changed because I got a co-working space membership. It's called Factory. I absolutely love Factory. It's full of cool, creative people, ideators. There's a university within the co-working space. I end up going there almost every day and it was a lifesaver. They have phone booths, meeting spaces, a bunch of people from my uni were always there. If you've got finals or mock exams or exams or just anything tough and stressful and academic I'm sending you so much love I'm sending you power I'm sending you hope if it's possible where you are go to a cute cafe break up your routine try a new environment go to the library see if it inspires your academic work in a way that you haven't had before and if you're still stuck to your classic bedroom that's okay too light a candle I don't know do something cozy and yeah I can't believe this is one of my last videos here in Berlin I wish I vlogged more I always wish that but then I just don't have the capacity to like look after myself and do academics well and be a good human and make content in the same way but it's okay maybe next semester oh here's a challenge i will send a lovely long message reply to the first person who guesses where i'm studying next semester okay bye